Nakia Jackson. We'll take questions, please. We'll start with Maria and Laura. Sarah, you're very familiar with the play of Destiny Wells. You remember that Sweet 16 game that took yes. a three-pointer from you to beat Belmont. Mm -hmm. it looks like she just picked up where she left off. Just how has Destiny been to help this team, and what can she do for this team this season? Um, I mean, as you saw, she just creates for not only for herself but her teammates. Uh, she had, what, six assists? Yep, she had no turnovers. But she also scored herself on all three levels, and I just – I think that shows she brings a lot of versatility from the point guard position alongside um, JP. And I mean, she does a really good job of just, you know, defending on the other end as well. And just that kind of gives us energy because as y'all will learn, she's a little quieter. But um, so that gives us energy to go out there and just like hype her up some, get her excited too. So, I mean, it's great to have her. Laura. Uh, Ricky, I want to ask you about Sarah. She just looked like a whole new version of herself out there tonight. Um, just how big of an impact can she make for this team, and where are you seeing as the biggest um, steps up for her over this offseason? Oh, man, Sarah has just been doing great in practice, like on the court. Like, it was nothing new to us. She does this in practice. She's such a great shooter, such a great teammate, and she's just willing to get better each and every day. Um, I feel like She's just consistent. Like, she just goes hard. She's just a bulldozer. You know, we just need to get out of her way when we see Tara going to rebound because she'll knock you over if you're a teammate, too. But, no, yeah. she's just been doing really good, and we're just proud of her. And it just opens up the floor for us because you have to respect her shot. And she can drive, and she can just do everything. So you have to respect her in every aspect of her game. Go next to Jack. Um, Sarah, you've had every player score tonight. How important is that for your team going forward? I just think it shows that um, we have depth. You know, everybody can come in and do their role, do their part. Um, just if somebody's maybe having an off night, we know we can put somebody else in and, you know, get the job done. And I think that's really important down the stretch um, because it is a very long season. So to be able to have several players that can step up and um, knock down shots, just finish the game is really, really important. Laura and then Carpet. Destiny, first official game out there. You know, how comfortable do you feel with running this offense and how nice to just kind of get that first game out of the way? It felt pretty good. Um, I was a little nervous at the start um, just because I'm nervous before every game, but I feel like we came out, we played well together, uh, we played great as a team, and we took a step forward and got better tonight. And for my first game, I mean, it's kind of crazy that, that I'm now in Tennessee Orange after playing them my sophomore year. But um, it felt great to be at this night, and I feel like we did really, really well. Karthik and then Maria. So any of you all, um, whoever wants to answer it, the defense allowed a couple of quarters where you guys allowed them to shoot 60%, and then there's just some spurts where they were able to get the ball in the bucket. How do you all improve on defense moving forward? Yeah, we definitely, that was something we definitely talked about um, after each quarter and throughout the game um, and after the game. Just we know that's something that we need to be better at. I mean, granted, they were, you know, hitting some tough shots. They were making shots. So we just have to be able to be better in that um, area and just be more disruptive on defense. That's a big thing for us. And so we're definitely going to hone in on that some more because that is um, something that we need to be better at. Sarah, you obviously were on from the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. You look like a junior. You look leaner. You look more physical. You look like you had a great summer. Just how excited are you to – get out of the gate like this? Uh, very exciting just because I was able to do it with my teammates and you know we were all able to share the ball and it was just it just came to me with just, I was going with the flow of the game uh, that's my main focus this year is just letting it come to me and just you know be a great teammate and create for them as well and so it's really exciting because it is kind of crazy that it is my junior year um, and it's just flown by so I'm not going to take anything for granted I'm going to be in every single moment um, with my teammates and my coaches and just enjoy it all. Reese, for any of you guys, uh, what did it mean to see Edie Darby get some run and put a few buckets in there? Mm -hmm. It means a lot um, to see Edie because her hard work is really paying off. Edie is just such a great teammate and she works hard every day in practice. So again, like this was nothing new to us. Edie does this in practice <clears throat> and she's been really consistent. So. She's just been doing really, really good in practice. So it just, you know, means a lot when you see a person's hard work paying off. Jack, Karthik, and then Maria. Um, all off season, Ricky, it's been an emphasis for the team for rebounding. How do you think you did in that area tonight? Um, I don't think we did as well as we wanted to do in that area. Um, I feel like that's definitely an area of improvement. But we'll just keep working at it because we do have 
um, players that can go get those rebounds. We have the tenacity, it's just like the will and the effort to do it. So I feel like we're just gonna keep working at that. Uh, to Sarah and Rikia, since you all saw Tamari go through what she did last season for her to return on the court and play the game, what, how did that make you all feel and how happy were you both for her? I was extremely happy for her just to be able to be out there on the court with us again because I know it's been a long journey for her. We've seen her struggles, we've seen her highs throughout that journey and so to be able to see all that hard work that she was doing just pay off in this game in particular was um, really, really special to see just because you know how much it means to her. We know how much she cares about the game and wants to be out there with us and so that definitely opens up a lot of things for us on the court, so we were glad to have her back, um, get some rebounds, put backs, and I mean, that's just a big target to have in the post. So, um, yeah, we're just really glad to have her back. Maria, then Cora. Ricky, I know it was a brutal offseason in terms of losses in the Lady Ball family. You're wearing the patch, Natasha Butts, Nikki McCray. I know, honestly, you knew Nikki. I'm not sure how well you knew Tasha, but. Just how hard is that for the team to have dealt with that in the off season, and how do you plan to honor them this season? Um, yeah, um, it definitely hit home for me because me and Coach Nikki was close. You know, we still talk to this day. Um, when I committed to Tennessee, she texted Coach Sam. Um, I think it means a lot to be able to have these on our uh, warm-up shirts and I know it's very hard for Rakia because she was so close with um, Coach Nikki so I mean it's just kind of hard for me too because that's I got like those are losses in the Lady Ball family you know um, so now it's it's just playing for them you know they're they part of the legacy they built on this um, foundation of the program so it's just being able to come out here and play for especially them in these times uh, just throughout this whole season because you know how tough they were, you know what they brought to the um, court and the coaching realm. And so to just to be able to go out there and play for them is really special. Laura. Um, this is for anybody, but Kaya Wynn certainly, you know, was a burst of energy on the court tonight, 12 points, six rebounds. Um, just how big of an impact could she play um, just producing off the bench for you guys and giving you those that kind of spark um, when you guys need some energy, maybe just on defense or on the boards and not necessarily um, just in production on, on the offense then. Yeah, I mean, as you could tell, she was coming in and she did her job and she um, not only scored, but she's a very good defensive threat for us. She is very active on the ball. Um, like you said, she gets to the boards and I think that's something we need that coming off of the bench is just someone that's able to do that, pick off right wherever, whoever came off, um, just she's able to pick it up easily. And so I think that's going to be very important. And I'm just glad to see her flourish and be able to get out there and do what she does. All right. Thank you very much.